a two-part episode that's really pretty complicated. It's a, a really almost old-fashioned murder mystery. There's all these elements of clues that fall into place that begin to confuse the squad. There's an old sort of, I guess, an old enemy that you know resurfaces in, in the character of Yates, who is a serial killer who's absolutely brilliant that we put away in that crossover uh, episode and uh, became a central figure among all of the sort of stories from Chicago PD through, through SVU. And, and he's back and there's questions about whether or not he's committed another crime and there's questions about what sort of influence he might have from, from jail and there's little things that begin to drop into place that play out like, like an old fashioned murder mystery. Like, you're following along in this sort of delicious whodunit. And I had, I had that response to it when we were reading it and now that we're filming it, everything is about letting the audience have a really good time piecing it together, which doesn't always happen. Sometimes we give it away, but this time we're not giving it away. Case-wise, in terms of the beginning of the season, the, the episode opens with another body that's been found. And, but this time it's horribly mutilated, but it's at exactly the same place where Yates has in the past deposited his bodies. But he's in jail, so who's responsible for this? And of course we think it's him. And yet, he gets involved with our investigation in a very strange and complex and twisted and a little sick way. And he begins to play the team and the team sort of tries to play him back. And Barba, for his side, is so ready to be done with him because he knows how dangerous he is. This man's lethal incredibly lethal and incredibly charming. And someone who can get away with, literally, murder, but also get away with uh, creating doubt and creating all kinds of strange accusations that will sow problems among the team and among, uh, even question whether their work ethic is right, you know? And so here you are dealing with a criminal that Barbara considers someone that needs to absolutely disappear. We worked so hard to get rid of him, to figure him out, to break him. I think one of Barbara's proudest moments in season 16 is the moment where he says nobody's seen what he really is yet, but they will. And he manages to, to do exactly that. He manages to make this man reveal himself for the monster he is. And now this monster's back in our midst, and he's kind of almost working with us in some strange and, and confusing way. Going into a series like this, knowing that it's been around for as long as it has been, knowing that actually I think some of the best work of all 17 years has been happening recently. It's pretty exciting and you feel this sense of uh, wanting to dig even deeper and see what, what else you can find to make it better, to make it even stronger, to figure out what else there is to reveal about the characters inside the story and, um, and, and also for yourself as an actor to just live up to the kind of now legendary status that the show has.